This is a yam. This is a sweet potato. Actually, all of these are sweet potatoes. And as you see, these don't look anything alike. It turns out that yams and sweet potatoes are not even related, except for the fact that they are both starchy tubers, but for some reason, we've been calling sweet potatoes yams for a long time, and I just wanna set the record straight, y'all. So if you wanna learn more about the differences between yams and sweet potatoes, tap the like button and let's dive in. For as long as I can remember, sweet potatoes have been my favorite food, but it wasn't until I was a full-fledged adult that I realized sweet potatoes are not yams. Yams are something totally different. Walk into any grocery store in the United States and you will see sweet potatoes labeled as yams. But it turns out that they are totally different unrelated foods. Let's talk about the differences and then we'll talk about how sweet potatoes became known as yams in the first place. Let's start with yams. Now, <laughs> Tell me, does this look anything like a sweet potato to you? Cause it does not to me. Like sweet potatoes, yams are edible tubers. They've got a starchy flesh, though yams are a lot starchier than sweet potatoes. Yams are native to Africa and Asia where they are eaten in abundance. There are many varieties of yams all around the world, like yellow guinea yam, white guinea yam, ube and mountain yam. But otherwise yams are not at all common in American cooking. Yams have rough bark-like skin that is not edible, unlike sweet potato skin, which is smooth and tasty. The flesh of a yam can range from white to yellow to even purple in the case of ube. In most parts of the US, you're gonna have to visit an international grocery store or an African store, Caribbean store, or an Asian store to even find yams. Most yams have a bland flavor and are not sweet when cooked. And as you can see, yams can grow to be a lot bigger than sweet potatoes. Yams are commonly fried, boiled, or pounded and served alongside a meat or vegetable stew, something like egusi, which I've had vegan and is absolutely delicious. Pounded yam is called fufu, which you might have actually heard of already. A lot of yams are also very gelatinous and gooey when you cut them, very much unlike sweet potato. Yams are an important source of complex carbohydrates, fiber, calories, potassium, beta carotene, and even vitamin C. I boiled, these are yams, these are African yams. You know how people call sweet potatoes yams sometimes? Yeah. These are not those, these are African yams. So you gonna try them? You gonna give them a try, babe? Nah. No. No? So? Okay, let's put a little salt. I did boil them with a little salted water, but let's see. Okay, these are just boiled. I figured it would be easiest to boil them. You don't like them? What's wrong with them? I like sweet potatoes. Can I turn them? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the yams are fine. They have like no flavor. They taste like potatoes and they're really starchy like potatoes. I see why this is a great compliment to but tons. But you can have that after candy. Yeah, I can because, eat this after candy. Because, because the, your mouth is so sweet. Yeah, and this is very bland, right? Yeah. It has no flavor. No, then it will go, but then it will make your mouth back to your normal um, mouth shut. Yeah, exactly. These are like potatoes. Yeah. It would be perfect if we had some West African stew, igusi. Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Potato soup? <laughs> yeah, I'm soup. I like them, this one, eh, but I like them. You may have also heard of ube, which is a purple yam. It's a little yam, it's got this like furry, rough skin, but this brilliant purple inside. Now, ube is from the Philippines where it's commonly used to flavor and to color desserts. And I went to the grocery store, to the international store where they have everything, but they did not have ube. But they did have countless, like, I ran, I, I couldn't even keep track of all the different ube products they had, especially sweets. I saw ube crackers, I saw ube extract, I saw ube candies, all sorts of ube products. It's so pretty, I really wish I was able to find it here in Atlanta. I'm sure if I went to more stores, I'd be able to though. Sweet potatoes, my favorite food. There's so many varieties. I have a bunch here in this bowl with me, but I love them so much because they're so versatile. But let's talk about what our sweet potatoes, a little background because y'all already know they taste good. If you live in the US, you're probably already familiar with sweet potatoes. They are very common food here, especially down south where I am from, which is why they've always been my favorite food in the black community and black cooking, soul food, 
sweet potatoes are a staple, which is also part of why we call them yams, but more on that in a minute. But did you know that sweet potatoes are not actually potatoes? Another case of mistaken identity. Now, potatoes are in the nightshade family, while sweet potatoes are in the morning glory family. It just sounds so pleasant. You probably already know the potatoes are native to South America, specifically the Andes region that is now Peru. I find it really interesting that the jury is still out on whether sweet potatoes are native to South America or to Asia. Turns out that there's some fossil evidence that indicates that sweet potatoes are originally from the Indian subcontinent. But whatever the case may be, we know that sweet potatoes were originally cultivated thousands of years ago in what is now called South America. There are more than a thousand varieties of sweet potatoes, which is so exciting. I wish I could try them all. But if you're here in the US and you're most familiar with the Garnet and the Jewel variety, if you're a real foodie and sweet potato lover like me, then you're also probably familiar with Japanese sweet potatoes, also called Korean or Caribbean sweet potatoes, and Okinawan sweet potatoes, which when you cut them open, they are brilliant, almost neon purple. They're so delicious, so, so sweet. All, mm. And if you're a little bit older, like my grandmother, then you are very familiar with the white sweet potatoes. These have a white flesh and white skin. Sweet potatoes are known for having high amounts of beta carotene, especially the orange sweet potatoes that we're most commonly familiar with here in the United States. But all sweet potatoes have beta carotene in them. Sweet potatoes are also a great complex carbohydrate. They're also a great source of potassium, vitamin K, vitamin B6, vitamin C, and magnesium. And all those complex carbohydrates in sweet potatoes and in yams help to fuel your brain and your body. So when I went to the grocery store today, I wanted to stock up on as many different types of sweet potatoes as I could. Here we have the boniato, which is the Cuban sweet potato, one of my all-time favorite sweet potatoes, Okinawan sweet potato, Jewel and Garnet yams. I mean, sweet potatoes. But at the grocery store, trust, they will be called yams. White sweet potato, also called Hannah sweet potato. And we have these purple sweet potatoes. These are called Stokes purple. They've got a purple skin and a purple flesh. In my cookbook, Sweet Potato Soul, I have a whole section about the different types of sweet potato. Here we go. So like, look, this is uh, this guy. Oh, it's a lot of different sweet potatoes to keep track of. Let's try them all. Okay, now we can talk about why sweet potatoes have been called yams for so long. There are a couple reasons that lead into each other. One of the reasons we think sweet potatoes started being called yams is that African slaves being brought to the United States had been familiar with actual yams in West Africa, where they were coming from. Here in the United States, they were not growing yams, but they were growing sweet potatoes. So the African enslaved people referring to sweet potatoes as yams because they are pretty familiar, especially back then when these white flesh sweet potatoes were more common. Again, like yams, sweet potatoes do have a starchy flesh. So you can start to see why people might have just called this thing a yam because it was the closest thing they had access to. The term yams really took on commercial recognition when in the 20th century, sweet potato growers down south use the term yams to differentiate themselves from the sweet potato growers. Sure, you go to the store and it looks like a sweet potato, but it's something fancy. It's a yam. And that's basically why we started calling sweet potatoes yams even at the grocery store. Now you might be wondering, are yuca and taro forms of yam? I mean, they kind of look like it. Mm-mm, no, different category, move on. Now that you know the differences between sweet potatoes and yams, you can share the good news and the information with your family and your friends, or make it easy, just send the video. I have a question for those of you who have already been eating yams and are well familiar with this food. How do you cook your yams? What recipes should we try? Let us know in the description box down below, how do you cook your yams? And if you got a link for the recipe, feel free to share that too. Join me here next week. We are gonna be making red beans and rice is so comforting and delicious and very healthy. Make sure you tune in next week for that. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss future videos and like this video. Thank you guys in advance for watching, for liking, for subscribing. I will see you next week. Bye.